Here we go. You have a Champions League. It is that I just noticed, by the way, Christensen did get the assist on camera last time. He did get the assist for that goal, which is quite funny. Um, I, I only just noticed that. So he has got it. So Oliver Christensen's got a goal and an assist this year. Uh, from the intro. Just thought that was quite funny to see. Hello everybody, welcome back. So yes, we are going to be playing Newcastle, Newcastle and these guys right here in today's episode. And uh, we'll be getting quite close into the title race by that point, because by the time we would have played that game, that's going to be another uh, five matches played in the league. So that's going to be good to see. And we'll see how we get on here against Newcastle. Um, things to be of note, they're going to play a 4 2 3 one against us. They've got a pretty good side as well. And we've got a pretty much four strength side to pick from, which is good. And I'm going to play Mukoko from the start. He's had a couple of games off the bench. Just give him a chance away from home. I feel like Nygaard's better at home than he is away. So let's give Mukoko a go. So your team is going to be in the UEFA Champions League. Christian Sudding goal. Cucurella, Calafiori, Clement, Levermento across the back. Leima Lavia pivots. Santen, Van Bommel left. Shilapia right. Mukoko up front. Come on, Venezia. Nothing else to bring you, really, because obviously you didn't miss any matches or anything off of camera, so straight into the games. Assistant manager says, good run, go out there and impress me, okay? 4 2 3 one it is, so we go to our 4 3, three. and Bob is your uncle. Let's have a go on. Okay, let's see what they do from this. We've just had a chance on goal. Um, no highlights really happened in the first 10 minutes. Let's just see how this all plays out. So in the 4 3 ones, we should see the striker looking to engage. No, not you. That's that's your man. You've got to stand the fullback, left winger. That is your job. Lamer wins it, puts it straight out of play like a 1980s midfielder, love it. Let's try that again. So, Asan needs to really be on the pivot player. If he can stay on him, that'd be great. So, I had a bit of a coffin fit there. That was really funny, watching the battle. It was like watching 1980s football twice there. It was quite funny. As they just go, look at this. Bit of a throwback, football lads. Absolute throwback. Feel look at us from us as well. Have some of that. Just send it back in there. Love this. Changes up a little bit, doesn't it? Lavia steps in and then wins a little, nice little tackle. This is absolute chaos, this match. Who is the manager? Like, who have we got here that we're playing against? Ernesto Valverde. Okay, Newcastle got a chance on the left-hand side. They're going to go wide. They're going to cross this now, are they? Cuts it back. Chilipia gets this easily. Lema, Clemens. Lema is really far out of position right now. Um, actually, I guess he's not because he's playing in the middle, isn't he? He's a middle pivot player. Chilipia has just sent that into absolute... What in the actual fuck is that? So Chilipia gets the ball here and he decides that playing a channel ball in here is the way to go. Um, right. Not sure I like that. As Newcastle get their attack from this, this doesn't feel like a normal match for us. I mean, well, straight from the 1982 book of scoring goals, 1-0. The goalkeeper's got a knock and he is not coming off, so he can just deal with it, <laughs> I'm afraid. chilafia has got it, plays the ball inside. They're going to get the ball away. Livermento's going to collect this, though. Time and space, time and space. Take your time, Livermento, against your parent club. It's all right. Cucurella, Lamer, Lamer plays it into Lavia. Lavia in at two Clemens on the right-hand side. Uh, takes some touches, goes wide, takes on the bloody defender. Go on then, love that. Love that turn of pace from the centre-back. Liramento gets that gets that easily. Lamer, Clemens gets it back. Clemens is doing all sorts of stuff right now. He's not even Libero. Look at him. Look at the state of this. Oh, he's gone back. Uh-oh. Oh, that was a bait the press weapon right there. That's proper De Zerbi style. Lamer plays it into nobody. Van Bommel is going to get it back, though. Takes a touch, gives it away. Lamer says, don't worry, lads. I'll drive the team forwards. Van Bommel. Van Bommel. Lamer. Van Bommel. Asan. Surely it's got to be a goal. It's not. Chilifia gets it. Attack's over. Okay, so look at this. Newcastle have got an inverted win back at left back and a half back um, right CDM. So the right CDM is going into the back line. So Asan has got to drop and go with Tonali, really, in that situation. And on the left side, Mendy is going in here, creating two players. So if Mendy's going inside on the left, I'm thinking we do this. Because they're not really playing a fullback anyway. He's going to be in the middle in any case. So we just do that to accommodate their inverted back going in. And you could almost make it like into a two-man strike force if the halfback's going to go back anyway. But we'll start with just that for now. Done well, go get the win. I'm going to make Livermento, I think, a wing-back attack. Okay, they've got a chance here straight at the start of the second half. They cross it towards the far post. Keeper's going to collect. Oh, you're joking! 2-0. Yeah, I'm going to go to this, I think. In this, I mean, this looks like a joke, but... <laughs> but <laughs> It looks like a good job, but this is what we're going to go to. Sanzi will go up front because um, I don't think that, that halfback is going to be a... 
Oh, now he's gone to go to Volante, though, is Tonali. So now I have to undo that again. If he's gone, if he's now gone to that, I don't want him there now. Just a bit gutting that we're going to get ourselves knocked out of the Champions League so early, to be honest. A two goal de deficit won't be, we need to score. We, we have to, I'm going to go for it if we don't score a goal because we need to, we, we can go into the second game one goal behind and still come out, but not two. Oh, and they've, ju they've just scored the third while I was making tactical changes. I didn't see what happened. They've scored them and they to make it three while I was making tactical changes. This is a bit devastating, really, this. Yeah, playing against the English teams with all their extra money on their depth. They've got a pretty good team in Newcastle, to be fair. Um, yeah, good about this, though. This has been really disappointing to be beaten this badly. I mean, one goal gives us a mathematical chance for me. Oh, just, we just can't do anything. We can't do anything. They're going to do us here, are they, on the counter? Can we win it back? Can't even win it back off them. I'm not going to show the second leg. The game's over, tie's over, and I'm going to play the B team in the second leg because that was a disgrace. Um, don't like what I saw from this team. To get beat four by them was just... That was terrible. That was really bad. I'm really upset with that. So, um, I'm not going to show the second leg because it's pointless now. Um, so, what do we do next then? Do we go back for Roma? I don't really think there's any point doing Roma. I think we'll still do Parthenope. We'll still do this game in the next one. And then we will do... I don't know, actually. I can tell you what we'll do. We'll do Parthenope, and whichever one of these Roma games is the cup game, we'll do that one. So I'll see you in a second for whichever one. If it's this one, it's this one. We'll, we'll find out together in a second. But yeah, which I think it's the second one. So we'll do that one and then finish off with that one, maybe. And uh, then the, the next one will be Fioran, uh, will be um, Roma and somebody else. But disappointing, 4 defeat. See you in a bit for the game against Parthenope or Roma. Okay, welcome back. So you have actually joined me a bit sooner than I thought because this is actually the cup game right here against Roma. It's only the, the game in a few games' time. We beat Newcastle 2-0 on the second leg um, off of the camera. Beat Torino as well. And uh, Spezia both 1-0 wins in the league, 2-0 in the Champions League. Made, the, made it respectable 4-2 aggregate in, a, in the end. But obviously we know that wasn't really how it went. First leg was a disgrace, wasn't it? Let's be honest about it. So this is going to be the first leg of the cup against, against Roma. So that is the league game right there. This is actually the cup game. So this is going to be um, yeah, the first leg of the cup in a competition that we could win this year. It's something else that we could play for uh, into Juventus or in the other semi-final. So we've got a chance of winning this. So big game. And obviously you'll just miss them one more game off of camera and we'll play the path and up game to finish off. But uh, State of Play is currently that. Path and up haven't dropped points at all off camera. So bit of a problem there right now for the, for the title. They're going to be a bit of an issue, I think. So... But they do play Milan next, actually, but at home. But we'll see how things go. But anyway, your team is going to be... It's going to be Christian Sitting goal. Cucurella, Calafori, Clemens, Montrezzi across the back. Lema Lavia as the pivots. Asan 10, Vavon left. Chilafia right. Yuri Alberto. Is he going to start as Nygaard? Nygaard's back. So we'll put Nygaard back up front. So he gets on. Assistant manager says, go up and get the fans the money's worth. It's going to be a 4-3-3. So what that means is going to be double pressing forward support for us here. And drop back to mid-block and see how we go. Montreasy, by the way, is developing into a nice little player. In fact, before this uh, this goes in, probably, from the cross, Montreasy, as you can see, is actually improving quite a bit as a player. Looks pretty good. He's worth a lot of money as well. Going to be an interesting decision whether to sell him again or not, because he's not really my first choice right back. I decided to play him in this one because he's done okay the last few matches. And as we're going to lose Livermento because he's not our player, is he? I thought I'd give Montreasy a game in this game. And we go 1-0 down. Okay, straight after the goal, we get the ball back. Nygaard, Lavia. Lavia plays it into Chilo Fear, straight in behind. Goes wide, gets to look for somebody else as he shoots. Keeper saves. Cucurella gets it, plays it back in to Van Bommel. The left hand side cuts inside, shoots. What a finish that is from Van Bommel. What a finish. 1 1. He has scored a lot of goals this season. He's been brilliant on the left hand side. And his attributes, you maybe wouldn't think that he's like a destructive winger that's going to get you loads of goals, but he does this a lot from the left hand side. And he also scores a lot of headers at the back post. But he seems to love this finish, sort of like bent around the defenders into the far corner. You don't see those too often like that, especially hitting the post on the way through. 1-1. One, one. Okay, Sam plays it back to Calafiori. Calafiori back to the goalkeeper. We look pretty well set here. Got a lot of options to play to. Lamer's going to get this. Uh, plays across to Monterey's in the right-hand side. Takes a few touches at his feet. Keeps going with it. Is he going to play into Chilafi? Does great pass into Chilafi. Goes one wide right there. Plays it back to Monterey's. He gets a touch. Is he going to get a shot away? Asan. Hassan back into Lavia, into Cucurella, hits the bar, it's going to be cleared away. Good football though, coming up towards half time. Nothing's really happened in this game. We've been able to negotiate them pretty well to this point, but they only get a chance now. Shot in the engineer, maybe. They play across the left hand side, they get a shot away. That's never going in, no danger. Okay, right for half time. Could be the last highlight before half time. We get the ball into Cucurella. Cucurella takes some touches, plays it back to Hassan. Hassan's going to take this now. 
Six of Bournemouth Field players staying back for corners. What are we doing, set piece coach? Asan goes through, whips it into Lamer, gets tackled. Is it going to be a penalty? Oh, it's going to go to VAR. Is it, this could be anything. I've seen these given. I've seen these not given. What's it going to be? I feel like it might get given, you know. Not I think it is a penalty, but I think it might get given. Is it going to be given? The answer is no. Okay, halftime will say keep going. My God's going to come up with throw one. Yuri Alberto up front. Straight after the change, it's going to be a free kick. Lavi's going to take it. He gets a lot of highlights for him taking free kicks and never scores. And that's another one. Team is generally playing pretty well, though, in terms of ratings. Calapiro is not playing great. Let's move Monterey the centre back. I, I mean, I don't know if I really want to do that, but we're going to do it anyway. Uh, Darla can come on there midfield as well. And I guess Mukoko can come on as the left striker and Desango to the left. Been a game of nothingness, really, this one. It's going to be a corner. Cucurella's going to take it. Goes to Makoko. Makoko back into Jello. Jello into Kukurella. And it goes back through. Surely shot on goal goes just over the bar. I mean, as long as both legs are like this, it's fine. You don't want it to be like this at home and then get, you know, put under severe pressure away. It's going to be a long throw. It's going to be a long throw from Roma. Here we go. Gets launched into... Wow, well, they've done us here. Oh, lads, what are we doing? Oh, it was close. Finishes 1-1. I mean... It depends how the second game goes. If it goes exactly the same in terms of like neither team really creates much, etc., then that's fine. But it depends how badly the second game goes now. We won't know for a long time if that's a good result or not. But um, I'll see you in a few days anyway for the huge game against Parthenope. This is a big one. We have to go for the win. If, if it's level, we're going to go for it and try and win the game because we can't afford to draw it uh, if we want to try and win the title, which we do want to try and win the title if we can. So I'll see you in a week's time for the game against Parthenope. Okay, so we won our game 4 0 off of camera. But also, more dramatically, AC Milan beat Napoli 4 No, they didn't beat them 4-0. They beat them 1-0, sorry. But there was a red card as well with it. So, basically what this means is if we can win this game and then win our games in hand, we'll be top of the league. Like, that is how close it's got. But this is a big game. Let us look. Let's, before, let's, before we get carried away looking at that, let's have a look at their formation first, what they can play against us. This is a big moment. Playing 4 3 one So we'll go to our 4 3 3 when we do this, what tends to happen is that not much happens in the game, and then whoever gets the first goal in against a big team ends up having a good chance of winning the game. So we have to score first when we do this. But we won 4 0. They played a 3 5 2 against us to do Danese. We went to our two inverted fullbacks and Libero. It works perfectly. Nygaard scored two really good goals. His first finish was incredible, by the way. So he's got himself in a bit of goal scoring from going into the huge game. So here we go. Potentially, I wouldn't say for the title, but. As, as much as it could be at this stage, your team is going to be Christian Sinning goal, Cucurella, Calafiori, Clemens, and the Vermont across the back, Lima Lavia pivots, Asan is the 10, Van Bommel left, Chilafia right, Nygaard up front. This is a huge game. Like, absolutely huge. Assistant manager says, look at where he left off. Okay, so we go to that, and let's see how they start. So, things to look out for. Inverted wing backs, potentially this side. Uh, could be inverted fullback, actually. Wait to where he goes. Okay, it looks like he might have gone to midfield there. They've given it anyway. Nygaard into Chilafia. Chilafia on the left-hand side. Crosses it. It's going to go to nobody. They're going to head it down. Oh, it's a bit calamitous from them. Where are they going with this? Yeah, they panicked and cleared that. I thought they might. Okay, we've turned it over. They're going to get the ball here. They're going to play it into their striker and try and build their attack from there. Um, just looking to see where their right-back's definitely inverted, isn't it? Inverted wing-back. Crosswater far post. Can we get to this? Good. Red doesn't quite get there. That was a bit of a dangerous one for us there. Yeah, you've got Sugano Volante. So they're changing to a 4 3 in possession, effectively, um, be before the full out rotations. And if you look at that, so then it becomes like a 3. It's going to be 3 2. Um, but, uh, but this side should be quite exposed because that side, uh, it's not an inverted fullback the other side to make it a 3. It's going to be 2 at the back with one wing back staying naturally, then one inverted. So the left sided player, Van Bommel, could then, in theory, do this if he's going to be central anyway. So we could do that. Or I could move Asana across, even to that. We could go with that. See how that goes. Okay, how like for them is a throw in. They're throwing it straight in behind the defensive line. That's not good. It's cut back. It's going to be cleared away to the edge of the area. It was close. Okay, Lavia into Clemens. Clemens back to the keeper, does he? Nope, Lefermento gets it. Lavia. Lavia takes some touches, beats the man. Looks to play to Van Bommel, who's playing that um, number 10 slot now, isn't he? Um, but we've just moved him from. Chilafia gets it. Chilafia to Lavia, to Lavia to the right back. No, Chilafia. Chilafia gets it. It's going to go wide. Is he going to cross it? He crosses it low. It's going to be cleared away. Livermento gets there. Van Bommel gets there into Asan. Asan, Lavia. Lavia goes wide left. Shoots. Keeper saves. Goes for a corner. Okay, Cucurella's injured. He's going to come off. We're going to throw on Dorgu. Okay, Napoli. Whip it towards the back post. It's headed down. It's going to be a goal. I don't believe it. 
Oh, it's offside. Thank God for that. I've been devastated about that. I'm going to move Van Bommel back to the side where he, he was originally. And I'm just going to instead make him man mark the wing back. So he just follows him in rather than making him um, rather than making him be something different. In, it's because in possession, I'm losing. When the ball's on the right hand side, what we're losing is Van Bommel coming in the left, uh, coming at the far post on the left hand side. So let's go with that. So you do it for the fans. Yeah, we'll say do it for the fans. Van Bommel's up. Van Bommel isn't playing. I need this Nygaard. I think Nygaard comes off. We put on Yuri Alberto up from make that change. We'll leave Van Bommel for now. Okay, potential holler here into the second half. Lema gets it back to Dorgu. Uh, plays into Lavia. Lema uh, into Van Bommel. Van Bommel just coming on the inside here. Plays it to Chilafia. Chilafia shoots. Keeper saved. It goes for a corner. Man, that was a chance. I'm a bit gutted about that. I thought that was our chance to go on the up. And like I said, we have to win the game. Drawing it is no good to us. I'm not going to let the draw and say, oh, well, we're still in it. We're still a few points behind. No, we have to win it. We have to win it against them to give ourselves a chance. I cannot wait for them to try and drop points to the AI teams. I just don't think they're going to do it that often. Uh, Lavi goes through the door. Who now doesn't quite get there. Chilafia is going to come off. Jello is going to go on the right-hand side. That's going to be one change. And I think that'll do. It gives us one more stoppage, doesn't it, after this? Right, we've gone for it. All out attack. Trying to go for the game. There's a corner for Napoli. Whipped in towards the far post, headed away. Can we clear it? Can we get on the counter? Mikoko gets it. Needs support. Dorgu gets on the wrong side of the pitch right now. He's going to run with it. He's just going to run with it. He needs to release this. He's on the wrong side of the pitch. Oh, we've lost it. Oh, no, we've lost the ball. This isn't good. They go long. Oh, I don't know what's just happened there. Oh, it's not looking good. They're going to go through. I mean, wow. It's a hard here. 10 minutes to go. Mikoko gets it. Plays into Rainier. Doesn't quite get this. Can come back all the way to the centre-backs now. Oh, we're headed straight back. I don't know why he headed that. Mukaku gets it, though. He's got players on the right-hand side if he wants it. He shoots himself. Goes just wide. There's a last-minute highlight. Here it comes. Jallo. This is it. 93 minutes on the clock. Jallo loses it. Oh, no. He gets it back, though. Players are staying in the box. They're staying in there. Jallo cuts inside. Gives it to somebody else, does he? Gives it to Lema. Lema takes a heavy touch. Goes round the defenders. He's going to shoot his deflect. And the keeper saves it. That's probably going to be that. It could be another highlight. Is this going to be one? I don't know if this is going to be a real, uh, real highlight or not. There's a minute to go still. It could be. Jallo's going to get this. A right wing back for us. He's going to take a touch. Plays in Siri Berto. Gets it. Across. Asan. Oh, he's missed it. No. No, that was the moment. That was the chance. Devastating. That was it. We created the chance for the team and they've missed it. We'll say sympathise. That's absolutely gutting. I cannot explain to you how gutting that is because that was that that would have been our chance for the title. Would be we had to win that game and we didn't because not only does that mean we don't gain any points on on them, but it means we lose the head to head to both teams in the title race. So there's no way we're going to win it. I don't think because of that fact. Um, it looks a lot closer than it is because we don't have the head to head now, right? That's that's a huge thing. Um, that's gutting. That's actually really gutting. Oh, I'm devastated. Um, I, I'm just looking next episode. I don't know whether to try and do the rest of the season in two episodes or one, because if, I, if we came back with the Roma game, it'd be Roma game, probably miss that game, and then do the end of season. So we'll just do literally every game then to the end of the season. Starting off with uh, this game here and going through. I'll see what I think, but I might come back for like one of these games before, before the Roma game. So I might do like Atalanta. We might do Atalanta, Fiorentina, then Roma in the next episode. Then the episode after that will be like the last few matches, that kind of stuff. I'll have to just see how it goes. Like if I was to, let's say we lose to Roma at home in the league and then I draw with Bologna and we're at the title race, then I won't come back until Roma. But if it looks like it's going to be really close, if somehow both those teams drop points between now and the Atalanta game, you'll come back with me for this one. Um, it'll just be, depends on how the title race is looking. And um, if it's like, if it's like nobody really drops any points and it's still sort of in the balance, then maybe we do Fiorentina, Roma and maybe that game. And then we come back for the rest of the season like those those last three matches plus the cup final if we were to get there. Something like that. So let's do that. We'll come back for either the Atalanta game, the Fiorentina game, or the Roma game, depending on how the top race is locking off of camera. But um, yeah, the state of play is currently this. So we are four points or five points behind the team we just played with a game in hand, of course, which would put us on the 60. If we put our game in hand, we are one point off of second, two points off of first, and we're clearly going to get into the top four this year. And uh, probably going to beat our points total from last year too, you would think because of the lack of defeats we're going to have but um yeah that is your episode really good stuff out of possession from us um in the end another draw
another nil nil another clean sheet though it's got quite a few clean sheets as our goalkeeper gutting that we got so close we created the chance as well that is absolutely devastating i'm gutted about that but um we did everything we could we're, we're just like another chance for a way aren't we we're just one summer chance went away from being really there but then we have got two lone players in the team which is probably inflating our position at the moment so we'll have to see lots of stuff to look forward to in the tr summer transfer window episode but uh, for now that is going to do the episode i appreciate all your support in the series we will conclude this season and i'm definitely committed to doing one more and then we'll review the uh, we'll review the series at that point but um i'm hoping that we can get ourselves into that uh, that situation. I'd like to win the Serie A and the Champions League before the season before the series ends. Um, but uh, but yeah, like, I'm not looking too far ahead beyond the rest of this season and, and next season as well. But um, anyway, for now, I'll say goodbye. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time when we could be in a title race. But at the very least, we'll have a cut semi final to look forward to.